Okay, I seem to be live now. After all. So, I'm sorry about that. I... Sorry. I, uh, I was streaming apparently for 12 minutes to no one. So, apologies about that. And, uh... Let's get started again. So, hey, chairs. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, we are... If you remember, I'm going to give you again a quick rundown. And to anyone else listening, maybe. Working. Okay, good. So, hey, chairs. Uh, so, we are right now... We're in the third case. We started uh, the last stream, I believe, of this game. And... Uh, basically, the, right now we're in flashback. We're playing as Edgeworth's father, Gregory, and uh, the detective who was working with him when he was younger. And this is uh, the last case that Edgeworth's dad worked before he was murdered. So it might even have something to do with that. Right now, what we're doing is, in the flashback, we're first going to like find out what they found out, what happened. Right now, we're looking into, like, our client, we're defense attorneys, and our client... Uh, is a chef who hosts and or competes in a cooking show, a baking show. Uh, and one of the competing chefs, one of his competitors, was found inside a giant cake or something, like one of the desserts in the competition. And now we, uh, we already interviewed the chef, and Edgeworth Sr. is convinced that he is uh, actually innocent and didn't kill anybody. And now we're at his home where the competition took place, and we're talking to his personal assistant slash partner, Kate, who is the first one who discovered the body. And I think we should be all cut up for now. If you have any questions, feel free, dude. No, I should be the one apologizing for not being much help. Now then, I believe it's time for us to start investigating the crime scene. Monsieur Edgeworth, Monsieur Shields, uh, please find some way to save Monsieur Master. Monsieur Master is not someone who could commit murder. Yes, of course. Just leave it to us. Then I shall entrust it to you. If you'll excuse moi, I'll have to continue serving tea to the other inspectors. Raymond, let's head to the crime scene. Yes, sir, Mr. Edgeworth. Okay, who's that guy over there? I think we might have seen him in the previous Miles Edgeworth game. I'm not sure if it's the same dude, though. Wow, this whole thing is made of chocolate. Damn, that is pretty fucking impressive, actually. I can't believe I'm actually seeing Master Jeff's desserts up close! Were this not the scene of a murder, I admit, I too would have delighted in this occasion. Ah, uh, now that you've reminded me it's a murder scene, I'm getting shivers down my spine! Perhaps it's because this room is cool to, be to begin with. Now that you mention it, this room really is cold. Uh, uh, chew! Oh yeah, he was in the first game. I remember him. I don't remember what game, what voice I gave him back then. So, if there are any ideas, hit me up. Never expected the defense attorney to show up so early. Pleased to meet you. I'm Jeff Masters, defense attorney, Gregory Edgeworth. This is my assistant, Raymond. How do you do? Detective Terrell Bad. Homicide. Mr. Bad, the detective in charge of this case? Um, and a few words. What, what are you doing? Hmm, tastes kind of bitter. Maybe because it's paper. What the fuck? He likes to digest his memos in his stomach, as well as in his mind. It's just a strange habit of his. Please don't be too concerned. It would probably be too much to ask him not to be concerned at all. 
More importantly, Detective Bad, would you give us permission to participate in the investigation? Permission denied. Why? Mr. Edgeworth is Master Jeff's defense attorney. Defense attorneys plant fall evidence to try and get their not guilty verdict. What do you think we are, fucking prosecution attorneys? I don't want their kind to disturb the crime scene. Mr. Edgeworth would never use false evidence to defend his client. <laughs> I can trust that, coming from a defense attorney. Do the police still suspect Mr. Master, even after the investigation? I believe that Mr. Master is innocent. That's why I have come to investigate. Believing is in his innocence without investing the cr investigating the crime scene. How naive. That's why I would like your permission to investigate. By investigating the crime scene, I want to ascertain if my thinking was naive or not. Crime scene. Yes. Fine then. I will give you permission to investigate the crime scene. Thank you. But I'll be accompanying you. I can't trust you defense attorneys after all. If you understand that, you can begin your investigation. That's a lollipop? I'm a little surprised myself. Alright, let's begin the investigation. Raymond, be sure to take notes on the case. Leave it to me, Mr. Edgeworth. Just begin already. Begin investigation. Okay, so let's go. Oh wow, he's actually like following us around and shit. Let's start with this, I guess. Oh, oh, so it was in there. Now I get it. I thought it was a cake. So this was where the body was discovered. Yeah. The body has been removed, but otherwise, the crime scene has remained untouched. Hmm. Wait, what's that? It seems that the body was discovered inside this chocolate treasure chest. The person who discovered it was Miss Hall. Monsieur Master, are you in here? Eek! She heard the sound of something breaking inside this room and came in. What was the sound? Well, could it have been the chest or maybe something else? If the chest is made of chocolate, then maybe it wouldn't make as much sound? We're not gonna do more information about this. Hmm, what's this? Something has been dropped inside the treasure chest. Hmm, this is... Seems to be some kind of seal with a design and initials carved into it. It looks like the signet crest. Was it the victims? I don't know if it was the victims, but we should take it for now. Signet crest added. Found near the body at the crime scene. Does the design hold any special meaning? I wonder, actually. Let me look at that a bit more closely. Oh, I can't. Uh, HQ or PH or I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, what else do we have? Um, well, I got the boat. To build such a large ship out of chocolate is magnificent. As expected of Master Jeff, I want to try eating it. Although I have no idea where to start eating it from. Anywhere should be fine. 
But if you start eating the crime scene, I'll make you leave. Ah! Don't glare at me! Can't you tell it was a joke? I'd like Raymond to be just a little bit calmer. Okay, uh, I don't see anything else special around here. Uh, oh, what about this? The Voyage of the Good Ship Red Rum is written here. It sailed the seven seas and, find, and at the end finally found a huge treasure. All that left her, the glory of an ancient adventurer. It's written here. So he failed six times. What an unlucky captain. No matter how many times he went on a fool's errand, in the end, he reached the truth. It's just like a detective spirit. Do detectives even exist during the ancient times? Well, I think they always existed, probably, right? That sounds right. Okay, anything else around here? There's a ship, there's maybe these fragments? It seems that the stand supporting the ship has been broken. Oh, there we go. The stand that supported the ship was broken and caused the ship to tip over. The ship tipped over and broke it. Oh, sorry. The ship tipped over and broke the treasure chest, didn't it? Ah, uh, maybe. Could the victim have been crushed by the ship and killed? If that were the case, this would have been an accidental death. You two aren't serious about that, right? Well, we were only discussing one of the possibilities. Oh, I was being pretty serious, though. Detective Bad, I would like you to tell me about the state of the victim. If you mean a photo of the body, here, look at it. All you like. Hmm. So the steel was in there. It seems the victim was beaten to death with a blunt object. Okay. Yeah, there's blood around the head. Head, but not just what? What? It seems like he's wrapped in a blue blanket or something. Maybe. Has the murder weapon been found? You should try asking the prosecutor in charge later. Seems he doesn't intend to tell me frankly. I wonder who's the prosecutor in charge here. Possibly von Karma. So, may I borrow this photograph? It's not a photo that was taken by the police. Miss Hall took a photo of the body with an instant camera when she discovered it. Oh, well that's interesting. Shouldn't the police also take a picture though? Maybe she like, I don't know. I know she's sweet and all, but she's kind of my main suspect at the moment. And also only one, but still the main suspect. An instant camera? Is that like a disposable camera? An instant camera is a camera that can develop its film right after taking a picture. Ah, oh, such convenient camera exists! Anyway, let's go over the state of the crime scene a bit. This photo, upon a closer examination, contradicts the state of the crime scene. I have to deduce the contradiction to resolve this matter. Crime scene notes added to the court record. Well, let me look at it then, maybe there's something else. Maybe we can already spot. Oh, oh, there we go. Hmm. I actually, don't see a contradiction right now. Well, there's no blood in there, actually, is there? Could have been wiped clean, or oh, it looks like yeah, caked blood. Maybe it's white, so it's kind of weird. But I don't know. The blood? Maybe I need to inspect that. Other than that, it seems pretty much the same. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, I think actually a part of the chest is... No, this is just some debris. I'm not sure if that's like the thing. I think it's either the debris or the blood, because it can't be anything else, right? Yeah, 
Even though the debris was probably moved, just so they can remove the body, but still, it's the only thing I can see right now. Wait, does the ship also have that anchor in there? The anchor moved a bit, but again, that could be from, like, moving the body. Well, it moved just a tiny bit. I don't think that counts. Let me examine this for a second. No, okay, they're saying the same thing. Okay, so it's either the blood... Yeah, the seal. Mm, let me try and deduce this, maybe. Or maybe I don't know it yet. Let's, let's finish, like, looking around, and then we'll deduce. Just to be sure. It appears to be a display of, of sailing equipment. There's also the possibility that one of these is a murder weapon. No. It looks like these pieces were all made out of chocolate. You can't beat someone to death with these. Wait. <laughs> Misleading. At any rate, they all have such good worksmanship that they look just like the real thing. It really speaks about the level of skill Mr. Master has in his craft. And before the body was made of chocolate or something. What are you investigating? Sir, I'm checking the temperature of the stream. What have you learned? Sir, this stream has warm water. The stream is connected to the fountain in the patio. It runs through every room. Okay, so we know that the stream here is a different temperature than the rest of the room. Warmer, actually. It's an unusual construction for a room. The minds of the rich. I'll never understand. Okay, so that wasn't a big deal, apparently. What about over here? Was there nothing suspicious in the cupboard? No, sir. So there was some. So there was something. Oh, uh, no. Only things like cooking burners and tableware were placed there. I see. Defense attorney. Was there nothing that you noticed? No. So you did notice something? Oh, no. I didn't notice anything. Everyone's always given replies that are difficult to understand. I think it's your way of asking that's bad. Okay, so nothing in here. Maybe I can slow down. It appears to be a display of sailing equipment. Oh, same thing. Okay. So it seems that maybe... Oh, wait, who's this guy? Hold on, I'll talk to him in a second. Let me explore the rest of the room. Elegant tableware and cookware are placed on the counter. It looks like the same tea set Miss Hall was using earlier. Was Master Jeff drinking this black tea? On this tea set, only Jeff Master's fingerprints were found. Were his fingerprints found on any of the other cookware? The cookware was washed. Nobody's fingerprints remained. Interesting. And that moon-shaped whatever cup or teapot? Uh, that's probably not chocolate, so that could have been the murder weapon, I suppose. Or he might have been cooking with gloves on. It seems the only thing here with his fingerprints is the tea set. Just teapot. Uh, oh, it's a teapot. Okay. Made by Pierre Hoquet. Okay. Anything else down here, maybe? Oh, gloves. Well, there you go. Master, use these gloves while making his desserts. They hid his fingerprints. Certainly. It's possible that they were used for that purpose. But would you agree that finding cooking gloves in the kitchen is perfectly natural? Down everything. That's my job. Okay, so we're done with that. Apparently the gloves aren't a big deal. And I don't think I can look at the fridge. Oh. As expected, this kitchen is well furnished. However, there doesn't seem to be anything in particular that could be a clue. That wasn't anything noteworthy inside the refrigerator. Okay, so what about this dude? What 
voice should we give you? Yeah, he seems important. Excuse me, but you are... Oh, I see. Hmm. My apologies. I was meditating. What did you ask, Sir Detective? Actually, I'm a defense attorney. My name is Gregory Edgeworth. I'm his assistant, Raymond. Pardon my late introduction. My name is Dane Gustavia. I don't know, the music make him sound like kind of Asian style, but Dane Gustavia, maybe that's a Spanish name? I can try and give him a Spanish accent or something if you guys prefer. I am or Italian maybe? I don't know. I am one of the pastry chefs participating in this contest. What kind of desserts do you make, Mr. Gustavia? Whoa. That's pretty crazy. Whoa. My specialty is making desserts out of candy. What is that? That's a rat, Mori. What does it look like? It's just a rat, chilling. Yeah, see? Chairs knows. He has rats. You should know. Aww, what a cute seahorse! It was meant to be a dragon dancing in the sky. Uh, this is a dragon? I think it would be, it would fit better in the ocean than in the sky. I know all too well that design is my weak point. I plan to study design and undergo training in Zhengfa once things settle down here. I probably shouldn't touch the subject of design any further. Can I question him? Mr. Gustavia, if you aren't related to the investigation, why are you in this room? Sir Detective wanted to know more about the desserts in this room, so he asked me to come. Since he's one of the contestants, he might know something. Okay, Let's start with him. Mr. Gustavia, those instruments you use are quite unusual. How are you doing, by the way, Mori? How's your day going? Oh! Is this another dragon? These instruments are called candy pumps. And they pump air into the candy. Uh, they kind of look like swords. They're just so cool. Indeed. Ever since I began using them, no day has gone by where I didn't receive a burn or wound. That's why I'll wear red clothes, so that not a single stain will ever show on me. Except on your scarf, which is oddly yellow. Making desserts is a serious business. I am always training. Does he injure himself because he hasn't trained enough? Can you tell me about the great dessert contest that was held here? From the looks of this room, it seems the dessert went just for eating. The exhibition Sir Master held was a contest in the art of dessert. The art of dessert? Desserts that are true works of art, made solely out of edible materials. The works of art in this room are all made from desserts. Now that you mention it, the whole room is filled with the smell of chocolate. Sir Master exhibits great talent in both flavor and design. If you are not able to surpass Sir Master in flavor and design, you will not be able to win. Leading the world's greatest pastry chef is pretty hard, isn't it? In other words, if I can surpass Sir Master, I shall become the world's greatest pastry chef. Well, suspect number two. He already has a motive. Probably means to. That was the prize of this contest. The prize is the title of the world's greatest? In addition to that, 
There's also a Sir's, Sir Master's treasured angel's recipe. If you want to learn more about the contest, just look at this piece of paper. These were the rules that were given to the participants of the contest. Contest rules added. Should probably check those out. Okay, prizes. The title, title of World's Greatest Pastry Chef and Angel's Recipe. Rules. One, contestants' rooms will be judged starting from the left. Afterwards, all parties will meet in Jeff's room. Any decorations not made from desserts are prohibited. Entering another contestant's room before judging done is prohibited. Hmm. Interesting. I'm thinking... Okay, I'll let you guys know soon what I'm thinking. When we get to the appropriate part. First we'll ask him. Sorry, but I do not know much about the incident. I only learned about the incident after the judging had finished. How is the contest judging carried out? Let's see. So Master started judging at 3 p.m. Starting from my room, the judging proceeded in a clockwise direction. Uh, what's the master's room, Gustavia's room, Delicious room, and Dover's room? Okay, so there are two more contestants. I use the room with a right to the right of Sir Master's room, which is the room we are in now. Oh, so it was found in Gustavia's room, not Master's room. Next, the room of a female pastry chef named Alicia was judged. Female pastry chef? What kind of person is she? She's a frightening woman who would do anything to achieve her goal. I heard she used lots of cream to make a fantasy themed dessert. In Dover's room. And lastly, Sir Dover's room was judged. His works were frozen statues made from Sherbert. Who will discover the body in the middle of Gustavia's judging? But if it was in this room, she panicked because she immediately notified the police. Master continued judging. The knowledge that the body had been discovered. As a result, Master judged Dover's room and Dover's absence. Oh, Dover is the one who got killed, okay. <laughs> it seems we have plenty of room to suspect Master. I'm lacking in information. It's probably too early to object. By the way, Detective Bad. What were you talking to Mr. Gita Gustavia about earlier? I was asking him about the chocolate frame hanging on the wall. I thought something was missing. Hmm? I thought I asked if someone who knew about a lot about desserts. If I asked someone who knew a lot about desserts, I could get an answer. Thanks to your arrival, I still haven't gotten my answer yet. Well then, since you've been waiting for so long, we can ask him about it right now. I guess you don't understand sarcasm. Mr. Gustavia, can you insist us with this matter? I train in the art of desserts every day. If you have a question about desserts, Please, do not hesitate to ask. Thank you very much. So, I'm assuming we're starting with this. Even though that thing on the right seems more interesting. Uh, you make such a beautiful picture art of chocolate? You can make? As expected of Master Jeff. Is this really chocolate? It looks like an actual picture to me. Oh wait, there's fingerprints over there. I only just noticed that. Or like, um, some sort of marking. Impressive, Sir Attorney. 
You noticed well. This picture of an angel is not a dessert, but rather the angel's recipe. The angel's recipe? The prize for the contest? Huh? This picture isn't made of chocolate? Indeed. With this chocolate frame lies a recipe book. So Master told everyone when he explained the rules of the contest to us in this room. So the contestants knew the recipe was here. Oh, burn it. This frame. Don't you think it's missing something? This must be what Detective Baron was asking Mr. Gustavia about earlier. This chocolate frame. There does seem to be a part that mi that's missing. That's what's been bothering me as well. Huh? What's missing? Let me show Raymond the part of the chocolate frame that's missing. Obviously this. Take that! Oh, so that's his call. Look closely at this part with the decorations. Can you see the, that one of them is missing? It's true! It's different from the other decorations. There's a perfect balance in the decorations and it's not like Sir Master. Wait, there was another part that I didn't get to ask about. The, like, finger smudge. All the desserts in this room each have one part missing. Oh, the candle holder and the sailing tools are all damaged as well. Interesting. So someone tampered with a climb seat. Those Mr. Master made were damaged in several places. Interesting. Perhaps. Maybe Master vandalized the room himself to fool us. Master Jeff wouldn't do that sort of thing to his desserts. Tampered desserts. I wonder if they're connected to the incident. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Okay, so yes, this the most important thing. These finger marks are... These are... Unidentified finger marks. We don't know who they belong to. Since... No fingerprints were left behind. Finger marks without fingerprints. These might be related to the case. Okay, interesting. Hmm... It's a mystery! Probably wearing gloves. Oh, Detective Bad lacks dreams and romance. I don't think there are dreams or romance at a murder scene. Uh, uh, achoo! Are you alright, Raymond? Uh, this room is way too cold. The fountain pad here wasn't very warm either. This room certainly is cold. Do you want to wear my coat? Nope, I'm fine. Because that's something that you promised to give me when I became a defense attorney. <laughs> that's right. Why is the temperature turned down so low? Obviously so things won't melt. It's been turned down in order to maintain the chocolate's temperature. Why don't you try opening the panel cover on that wall? Panel cover... Oh. Oh! There's a secret panel hidden here- hidden there! This control panel installed... is installed in all the rooms the Master prepared. So as not to detract from the desert's presentation, the cover was closed to conceal it. What does the panel do? It allows you to change the temperature and the lighting in the room. In order to preserve any type of dessert, it can go down to about minus 22 Fahrenheit. Oh, that's like super cold. Isn't that like beyond freezing or something? 
Oh no, actually, yeah, actually, I don't remember. Actually, zero is both like freezing point on both Celsius and Fahrenheit, right? I remember something like that. Or is a hundred the same at both? I don't remember. I remember there's like one point that's the same for both of them somehow. Oh well. Very cold, yeah. Hello, Super Base. How you doing, buddy? Hope you're having a nice Monday. Oh, 0C is 32F. Is there a point where they're both the same, or am I just remembering wrong? Also, if 32F is freezing, then my, then that is like way below freezing. Like no sense. Like it's no surprise they're uh, so cold. The room would just be like a freezer. Oh, and minus 40, they're the same. That's odd. Okay. It's, it's a 59 F. No wonder I thought it was cold. Minus 40 is a point where Celsius in front of... Oh, okay. Thanks, guys. Uh, okay, so if it's 59 Fahrenheit, that's still, like, pretty cold. Oh, it can go all the way to minus, but it's not right now. 59 Fahrenheit is still pretty cold, then, if 32 is freezing. I know that, like, 70 in Fahrenheit is, is cold, so 59 must be, yeah. Cold enough for the chocolate. Detective Bad, uh, I'm not allowed to change the temperature, am I? They should dust it for prints, though. Preserving the crime scene is a foundation of being a detective. But I'm not a detective! A defense attorney can't risk recklessly damage a crime scene either. Oh, that's an average day, really? Damn, that's pretty fucking cold. What's that other chat with chairs? Oh, I'm being hosted on two sides. Like, I'm, I'm streaming on Twitch, but I'm also being hosted on a website called safestateheroes.com. And I read both chats, so you can go, like, back and forth, whichever website you prefer. Oh. Uh. Indeed, sir, assistant. Enduring hardship is also a part of training. In order to preserve chocolate, 59 Fahrenheit to 64 Fahrenheit is the ideal temperature. See, just like chairs did now, going back and forth. So, did you I'm a, did you play this game already, Super Base? Are you familiar with uh, this Attorney series? Temperature for chocolate, as expected from the dessert chef. No, it is but a trifle. This is basic knowledge that anyone should know if they are a dessert chef. So, what's the ideal temperature for candy and fresh cream? As long as you watch out for humidity and hot temperatures, candy shouldn't melt. Played it, I really enjoyed watching. Oh, okay. Uh, well, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. So I hope you enjoy, man. You need to watch out for the humidity and the hot temperatures for candy. I see. Detective Bad, uh, he seems a bit happy when they were talking about candy. Well, he does have one in his mouth. Is candy one of his, one of his favorite things? already checked this area earlier, but it never hurts to take another look. Okay, so let me try these two. I'm still con like wondering what this one is. This is a fire alarm. Oh. Uh, let me say in advance. That's not a dessert. It's the real deal. If you press that, an alarm will sound and security will be contacted. I understand that you want to press it to see what happens, but please restrain yourself. No, I didn't particularly feel like pressing it. It's because you're a defense attorney. Okay, dude. I don't think being a defense attorney has anything to do with it. Okay, and the thermostat, nothing special? seems this control panel can change the temperature and the color of the lights in this room. The colors are red, yellow, green, blue, cyan, and white. Uh, that sure is a lot. This room's temperature is 
59F, and the lights are set to white. It's because of the works. It's because the works in this room are made of chocolate. By using white light, the chocolate can stand out. For Mr. Master, everything in this room is probably a piece of art. Okay, so yeah, like you said, I think we already checked everything. Okay, so if... Damn it, not what I meant to press. Okay. So, I think there's one thing that we still need to... Wait, can I check this? Uh, oh, it's probably just a sign for the boat. Yeah, I see it now. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, there's a limit. I've been doing voices so far in the game. There's a limit to how many I can do. So I thought, just like, yeah, prepubescent. Or pubescent, not prepubescent. Pubescent would work, I think. I thought. Okay, so we need to do something here. We know that there's some kind of contradiction with the picture. Maybe even with the rules. Uh, I think that might one of the things might be the seal, which is a contradiction since it shouldn't be like it shouldn't be here. Since we know the rules say that everything should be edible, I don't see anything else over here that seems not edible. So I don't know. It's either this or the blood. There's also not any blood, which is odd, unless it's this white thing, but. Like, caked blood isn't, like, doesn't turn brighter, it turns darker, so... I'm gonna try that, I think. Oh, shit. Not what I meant. I meant to try and deduce. Sorry about that. Yes, yes, and that too. Okay, so yeah, he said that there was... Something with a picture. I definitely see the blood, and there's the seal, and I don't know, a blanket of some sorts, and there's the debris. That's like the only differences I can spot right now. So I'm gonna try it and see if it works. Oh, wait, do I have any logic I can use, maybe? I forgot about that. Breaking sound, beaten to death, temper desserts, a broken stand. Oh, the breaking sound probably was the broken stand. So I can probably use these first, and maybe that'll give me another hint. Due to the broken stand, the ship lost its balance. It would seem Miss Hall entered this room upon hearing the ship's the ship collapse. Yeah, when Miss Hall entered the room, the ship had already fallen over. At any rate, I wonder why the stand broke. Hmm, another piece of logic. Maybe there was something wrong with the ship's balance in the first place. Is that really true? Why the stand broke, temper deserts, and be into death. Maybe the temper deserts? Since all the deserts were tempered, it's possible that the ship. Uh, the part of the ship was too, and that's what made it fall. I was thinking maybe the temperature, but I don't know. I'm just gonna try this. Worst case, I got plenty of health. And... Each of Mr. Master's works had a piece that was missing. Add that add to, the, to that fact that the ship's chocolate stand was broken. I think we can surmise that someone ransacked this room. And the one who did it could be the true culprit. That, I don't know. But I think it's safe to say that the ship's... The, the ship... Sorry, ship stand got broken when the room was ransacked. And when the ship fell over, it broke the treasure chest lid. I expect that the lid of the treasure chest was originally closed. So wait, that's it? That's, like, did I not gain any clues or something nope i just like solved those okay whatever so yeah again i'm going to try and deduce this and hope for the best is this spot somehow connected to any of the evidence i hold uh i'm thinking the crime scene notes eureka are you sure the only thing the police removed from the crime scene was the body 
They also took away the piece of cloth that the body was wrapped in. In that case, a major contradiction has been created at the crime scene. Contradiction. Detective Bad, please look at the crime scene carefully once more. The blood. Oh, I was right. The blood stain that should have remained at the crime scene has disappeared. <gasps> I definitely didn't get any reports about the blood stain being cleaned up. I'll check with forensics. Mm, Mr. Edgeworth, what happened? Comparing the photo in the crime scene, something struck me as being out of place. In the photo, the chocolate underneath the body remained intact inside the treasure chest. Oh, it's possible that the blood was hot enough to make it melt? But then, like, his entire body heat should be warm enough to do that, so... Like, I don't know. Oh, also, uh, Super Base, by the way, I'm like... If, if you have, like, an idea for a better voice for any of the characters, just uh, feel free to suggest it, and I'll do my best. And, I don't know, a specific tone, impression, accent, stereotype, whatever. However, in the actual crime scene, it's missing. <gasps> the chocolate with the bloodstain has completely vanished! Y yes. Did the police remove it, or was this the work of the criminal? Forensics. No one has cleaned up any blood stains. I see. Well, that would mean someone erased the blood stain. Who knows? I see notes updated. Okay, interesting. All right, we did it. It seems our investigation of this room is just about over. Updated. Uh, okay. I should make it clear. Jeff Master is the culprit. Uh, why? All the rooms in this mansion were locked from the inside, and the only way to open them from the outside was to use this key to the mansion. Do you know who had the key? was the only one with the key. There were no spare keys. Mansion key added. Okay. The only key that can unlock the rooms in the mansion was in Mr. Master's possession. By using the mansion key, Master could enter all the contestants' rooms. Of course, the key could also lock his room from the outside. However, Mr. Master's room is currently unlocked. Yeah, that's why I suspect Master is the culprit. I'd like to hear your reasoning in more detail. Oh, there we go. Interrogation time. Well, I suspect Jeff Master. Give me a sec, I'm just gonna drink some water if it's okay. All right. If the body had been found in the locker room, Master would have been the prime suspect. That's why Master made sure to leave the door to his own room unlocked. And to ensure that the body would be seen, Master broke the lid on the treasure chest. After the judging, everyone was scheduled to meet in Master's room. That would have created the impression that the murder had occurred while he was away. Okay, I think the contradiction here is that we know that... Well, actually, we we know that uh, Kate heard the the noise and that there was no one in, inside when she entered, so that shouldn't be right. Contrary to his expectations... The body was discovered by Miss Hall. That's my reason for suspecting Master. Got that, East Attorney? 
So you think so you think it was Mr. Master who himself himself who vandalized this room. Yeah. Your defense attorneys believe that justice lies in trusting your clients. But I'm a detective. If I believed every poor sap story, I let the suspicious ones get away. I understand your reasoning thoroughly. However, I'd like to hear you. I like. I'd like you to hear. Uh, sorry, I'd like you to hear my thoughts on the subject now. Hmm. Fine. Detective Bad believes that he is right, but I won't give up so easily. I can't accept his reasoning. I'll have to show him evidence that contradicts it. All right. So as usual, we'll start with. Just pressing everything. We'll see if uh, something pops up. Hold it! Isn't it a little premature to suspect Mr. Master on those grounds alone? It's a little premature for you to be objecting. Just wait until I'm done. Okay, fair enough. Hold it. He left it unlocked. If the door had been locked, Master would be the only one who could commit the crime. Well, maybe the door would just happen to be unlocked. Then, maybe the body just happened to be lying in the open, waiting to be discovered. Runt. Do you think you can become a good detective with logic like that? Uh, but uh, I don't want to be a detective. I want to be a defense attorney. I hope he isn't trying to steal my apprentice. Master had a reason to leave the door unlocked. Okay, this is the part I think is suspicious. Hold it. You believe the broken lid was Mr. Master's doing? Yes. If he hadn't done that, the body wouldn't have been found. It doesn't seem likely that he would break his own work while he was judging the contest. That's right. Master Jeff would never waste a good dessert. On piece of cake, he even needs them while dancing. Detective Bad, do you know about Piece of Cake? When I didn't even know of it. What? Well, this is a surprise. So, so, do you sing the song too? Hold it. That's irrelevant. Anyway, the one who broke the lid of the dress chest was Master. Okay. So nothing special popped up there, but I still think it's the more suspicious one. Do I have anything to refute that? Actually, no, I don't have like her testimony or anything. I'm gonna head out, but I left you a follow and a YouTube sub. Oh, thank you so much, Super ba Super Base. I appreciate it. Hope to see you soon, man. Uh, have a great time, buddy. Hope to see you soon. Okay, so, um, fingerprints, crime scene. Special meaning. What could this be? H, Q, H, P? I'm trying to think. I don't know, actually. Wait, what was the victim's name? Like, it wasn't. Oh, I can't look right now. Never mind then. Hold it. The judge began in Mr. Gustavia's room, right? forward to seeing his candy craft. Mm -hmm. If you would like, I can put on a display of my candy craft for you right now. And that's gonna be a dragon. Oh! It's a little puppy. What do you think it represents, Sir Detective? Um, that's supposed to be a police dog? 
No, no, no. This is a wolf. Oh, wolf. Not bad. What would my candy form be? I'm kind of curious myself. Moving on. Okay, that was useless. Question the murder had occurred while he was away. Hold it. Do you know the time of the murder? We're still waiting on the autopsy report. Without the autopsy report, how could you have arrested Mr. Master? We don't know the time of death. We do know when the body was discovered. It was discovered while Master was judging in Gustavia's room. I believe he let the body be discovered to create an alibi. But that alone is not enough to arrest Mr. Master, right? Who knows? That's all I intend to say. Detective Bad, are you hiding something? Detective Bad seems adamant that Mr. Master is a culprit. I don't think Master, Master Jeff could have broken his own creations. But why was the treasure chest broken then? Think back to the situation in which the body was found. In doing so, we should be able to see the contradiction in Bad's reasoning. What did he just say? To look back to the situation when the body was found. Alright, so. Well, we don't have that many clues, so it shouldn't be that difficult. The design, I don't know, doesn't seem special, really. Okay. This is how Kate took the picture. First of all, I think it's just like his timing that's wrong. Like how could he have broken this and there was a crashing noise later? I mean, it doesn't make sense. The crashing noise we deduced was probably the chest being broken. So how could he have done that? Furniture is just made of chocolate in Jeff Master's room. Oh, so this is Jeff Master's room. Uh, the cause of death seemed to be a hard blow to the head by a blunt object. Some circumstances are unclear regarding the part of the treasure chest and the blood stain. Each of the desserts in Mr. Master's room have one part missing. Before the ship's fall, the treasure chest lid was closed. Well, there we go. This might be it then. Let me keep looking though. A teapot. I actually forgot to inspect this properly. Oh! Well, what's this? Oh, there we go. There's an engraving on the bottom. It says PH. Oh. It's the initials of the creator, Pierre Hoquet. Miss Hall and Mr. Master seem to be big fans of this sculptor's works. Initials, huh? If it were mine, it'd be R.S. Why don't you try carving your initials on your own belongings? Okay, so now we know what that is. Pierre Huato, whatever, Huto. Whatever his name is. So that's actually really valuable. And that's the same stamp or engraving. Well, stamp really. That's the same initials that are on the stamp. Uh, anything else special about this? I think not, but... Hmm, this is a rather splendid design. You think so? It seems a little eccentric to me. I'm not even sure how you'd pour tea out of it. Rather than the practicality of the design, focus on its artistic merits. Hmm, Mr. Edgeworth's art, art sense is too high for me to understand. Okay, so nothing special. That was good that we found that, though. The rules. Uh, not made from desserts are prohibited. Entering another uh, report. Judging done is prohibited. But this is his room, so it should make sense. So this doesn't contradict anything, I think. 
Okay. Finger marks. Dimension key. Signet crest. Oh, because it's probably the crime scene notes, and I just gotta figure out exactly where to say them. The door to his own room unlocked. To ensure that the body would be seen, Master broke the lid on the treasure chest. With the judging, everyone was scheduled to meet in the Master's room. That would have created the impression that... Okay, I, th I think it's this one. I think it's where he says that he broke it, and it's this. Since it specifically says, before the ship's fall, the treasure chest's lid was closed. And we heard this, the smash, and we know that it happened like right before the body was found, so he couldn't have broken it. This has to be it. OBJECTION! Originally, the victim's body was hidden inside the chocolate treasure chest. Miss Hall entered the room when she heard a sound. I think it is likely that this is the sound. This was the sound of the chocolate chip falling over. Yeah, that's what you would think, just by looking at the crime scene. You said that Mr. Master broke the treasure chest lid himself. But this photo shows that the ship's fall caused the lid to break. If the lid broke just before Miss Hall found the body, then Mr. Master, who was the middle in the middle of judging, could not have broken it. Hold it. I never said that Master broke the lid directly. The ship was set up to fall during the judging. I believe he tampered with a stand. Objection. Objection! Do you have proof he tampered with it? over yet. It seems they still haven't found anything conclusive. Have you found any other fingerprints other than Mr. Masters in this room? Yeah. There was some left on the door. But the victim, Dover, and Master were also among the fingerprints left behind. Before the, we made our desserts, we all gathered here to have the judging explained to us. Perhaps that was when we left those fingerprints. But you didn't find any fingerprints on the works in this room. What? Someone tampered with the chocolate in this room. So perhaps there are other fingerprints on it, apart from Mr. Masters. Clear master of suspicion. Labby, hurry up and dust the chocolate for fingerprints. They honestly didn't do that. Roger that, sir. Uh, Detective Bad, we found another person's fingerprints on all the chocolates in the room. Well, there you go. Who's <gasps> fingerprints? Well, it belonged to a pastry chef by the name of Delicia. Good work. Return to the investigation. Yes, sir. Okay, my guess is that uh, Delicia did sabotage all of the works, but she didn't mean just just so that like Master would look like an idiot, and that she didn't actually commit the murder. Nor did she mean to expose the the victim. The body. I think that was by accident. Someone else hit him there beforehand. It would seem that there are other suspicious people beside Mr. Master after all. Hmm. I don't need a defense attorney to tell me that. I'm not stopping my investigation. We'll just go and listen to what this Delicia has to say. Delicia. Gustavia told us about her not long ago. Is she really a frightening woman who would do anything to achieve her goal? And of course, if you have any suggestions or ideas for Delicia's name, uh, let me know. It can be after we see her too. Mr. Edgeworth, this Delicia lady sounds mighty suspicious to me. 
Hmm. Hmm. It seems that it will be necessary for us to speak with her directly as well. Detective Bad, would you allow us to accompany you? I'm not obligated to do that. What? But you're the one who discovered the truth of the crime scene. Fine. Have it your way. Follow me. Detective Bad. Thank you. Detective Mad, sir. Are you sure about that? Right now, the prosecutor is in the room. Oh boy. We're gonna see who's uh, our opponent. I guess it's Von Karma. Either the father or the daughter. Doesn't matter. Him and I don't see eye to eye. Oh, him. So it's probably Manfred. That's my guess. Him? Well, who's the prosecutor in charge of this case anyway? Manfred von Karma. I knew it. Ah! Von Karma is in charge? That guy hasn't lost a case in 25 years. And we know exactly why. Manfred von Karma. The living legend of the prosecutor's office. If the rumors of his courtroom performance are to be believed, he's a man who would do anything for a guilty verdict. No matter what kind of prosecutor he is, I can only hold true to the path I believe in. To be continued. Right now, of course. So let's save. And get going. We still have 40 minutes of this stream. That might be enough time to investigate, to investigate, interrogate everybody. Wow, a candy castle, and there are even some fairies over there. Oh yeah, this sure is pretty fucking impressive. This room seems to be structured in the same way as Master's room. But it's nowhere near as cold. This room also seems to have been fitted with a temperature control panel. Yep. Ah, it's over there by that orange lamp, right? Indeed. Let's not forget to investigate it later. Even so, this room is like something out of a fairy tale. Is this cream-covered castle delicious work? Where is Delisha? Oi! Can I help you? Oh shit! Seriously? That's Delisha? Hello boys! I'm Delicious Scones! I don't know, she said oi, so... I can do either this accent or try to do an Aussie accent. Uh, I think it's gonna blend. I think if I'm gonna try and do an Aussie accent, it's gonna blend into British one anyway. So. Hello, boys. I'm Delicious Cones. <clears throat> In my native England, I'm known as Miss Delicious. Being called a boy, even though I'm already 34. It's certainly a rare experience. <clears throat> but boys, I understand you calling me that, but Mr. Edgeworth? As far as I'm concerned, you, you're all boys to me. Even that detective over there. My name is Dad, not Boy. Just how old is this woman? Let's just finish our business here. Hmm. Right. Objection. Oh, that's one karma. Hold on, before we start with him, I gotta look over. Does it tell us her name actually? No, age is unknown. Pastry chef, her nickname is Miss Delicious. Hails from Eng Oh, so she's English. Oh wait, maybe it tells us Oh no, it doesn't tell us where Gustavia is from. But she is English, so I'm not going to try and do a 
uh, Aussie accent, even though I could, if you guys want me to. You, what do you think you're doing? Conversing with a mere attorney. Forgot he's German for a second. Mr. Edgeworth, a scary man came out of the candy castle. Well, that's a surprise. That's not where I would have thought he'd be. Von Karma. Ah, this man is Prosecutor Von Karma? Eep, Mane. So he's Von Karma. Pleased to meet you, Prosecutor Von Karma. My name is Gregory Edgeworth, defense attorney. Bah! I have no interest in the names of defense attorneys. After all, they only exist to be crushed by me. What a rude man. That piercing gaze and furrowed brow. Oh, he's even scarier than the rumors say. Although that statement was also very rude. Prosecutor Von Karma, would you allow us to investigate too? Hmm. You think I would give information to a mere defense attorney? So I thought, it won't be that simple. However, I'll make a special exception for this time, for this room. Why did he change his mind so sorry? Why did he change his mind so quickly? Just the accents and the voices it's sometimes get it's sometimes a bit confusing. You old bloodhound. Don't call me that. My name is Bad. Ha! A mere detective speaking back to me. I admire your courage, at least. Bad. Stand watch and see to it that they don't misbehave. Why... me? I will not accept your refusal. Well then, I'll be investigating Gustavia's room next. Oh, that guy's a dick. Oh! It seems like that fabric... Inside there is the same one that was covering the victim. That's very interesting. I'm babysitting again. I wonder why he and Von Karma aren't investigating together. Well, he said they don't see eye to eye. Instead of seeing on bad, instead of being on bad terms, it seems they like to. It seems like they hardly know each other. Mr. Edgeworth, now that we've got Von Karma's permission, we can continue investigating. Yes, his manner bothers me, but I'm glad we can at least continue the investigation. Hold it. I also need to investigate this room. I don't want you disturbing the room. So you'll investigate after me. What? Aren't you the detective in charge of this case? Why haven't you investigated this room yet? The detective in charge of the initial investigation was a close colleague of Von Karma. Interesting. I wonder who that could be. I came to take over for him, so I only got to this mansion just recently. So that's why he and Von Karma aren't investigating together. Detective Bad, will you allow us to investigate with you like before? In doing so, you'll be able to supervise us and also ensure we don't tamper with anything. I want me to watch you. You're a strange lawyer. <laughs> I'll let you stick around a little longer. Yay! You did it, Mr. Edgeworth! Oh, welcome back, Maury. Good to see you, buddy. Thank you, Detective Bad. If I decide you're holding up the investigation, you'll have to leave. Yes, I understand. Well then, 
Let's begin the investigation. Okay. Is Delisha still here? Yeah. Well, we'll talk to her last. Since we're gonna need all the evidence we can to when we're talking to her. What's this? There's a burner and some chemicals over here. Hey, the Mao, good to see you, buddy. How you doing? Hope you're having a great Monday, man. They were probably used to make desserts. What are these chemicals? The writing on the labels say. Number one, punch out. And number nine, suffering. Uh, they... Poisons. Aw, oh, that sucks, man. Why? Something happened? No, well, they're both used to make desserts. It seems to be artificial flavoring and coloring. Punch out is a catchy name for a fruit punch essence. <laughs> Very misleading. What it bothers me is what suffering stands for. Okay, so I guess that's not important. Uh, is this the same as the others? Yeah, burning some chemicals. Kind of because I had some. Ah, yeah. That'll definitely fuck up your Monday, man. Well, I don't know, try to get some, uh... I don't know, like, try to take a nap, maybe, if you can. Just like, you know, there's, um... You can check online, like, there's, uh... There are uh, places that say, like, exactly how long you should take a power nap for to really help you. And I think, like, even, even like, 30 minutes, even, like, a 30-minute nap, uh, or a 45-minute nap should be enough to, like, give you lots of energy. And if not, then, you know, at least try to get more sleep tonight. Try to get hit the bed early. If you're so tired, you'll probably uh, manage to sleep easily. To fall asleep easily, I mean. So, I don't know. Hope, uh, hope you sleep better tonight, buddy. Any special reason you had no sleep? Or just, like, party too hard? Or were you sick or something? Hope you're feeling well. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. If you do, you're only gonna eat, you're only gonna eat that castle. For five, five hours after I arrived from school. Oh, that sucks, man. Wait, school? On a Sunday? Or is it like, I don't know, a special course or something? Gotta go, someone else take over chat. Okay, thanks for uh, sticking around, chairs. Always happy to have you. Forensics officer seems to be on a diet. Okay, that's useless. Uh, nothing there. What about over here? There's a cover on the wall, just like in Mr. Master's room. Let's open it up. Hmm. The room temperature is 68 Fahrenheit, and the lights are set to green. Said, the 50 Fahrenheit is the ideal temperature for fresh cream. This room's temperature is too high. Interesting. Maybe someone fucked her creation and then she decided to fuck over someone else's? Masters, maybe? Oh, you were talking about Monday. Wait, so when exactly. So I'm a bit, I'm, maybe I'm a bit fuzzy on the timelines, on the timeline. Like you had school today and then you slept five hours? Like you got home from school and then you slept five hours and now it's, uh, and now it's evening. Did you not, so, oh, okay. And so you didn't get to sleep at all at night or did you sleep at night plus five hours after school? Let's see, what other piece of logic do I have? Beaten to death. Well, no, I don't think that has anything to do with high room temperature. 
Okay, so I got that. Let's keep looking. Oh. It's a cute candy fairy sitting on a tree stump. Hmm. The cream decorations are melting. The fairy seems to be very well made, but something feels slightly off. Okay, well, yeah, we know it's a temperature. Oh, we can't go around it. Okay. Check this out. That fabric seems very familiar. I can't believe this amazing castle is made entirely out of confectionery. I know. What a work of fantasy. It's like a fairy tale world. You like all this fairy tale stuff, don't you? Uh, sorry. I got a bit too excited, didn't I? No. It's interesting to me since you're so enthusiastic about it, unlike my son. Your son? He's only in grade school, yet he prefers to read law books instead of fairy tales. Sounds like edgy. I am worried that he won't be able to make any friends that he can talk to. Again, sounds like edgy. Huh? What an interesting kid. I'd like to be his friend. <laughs> I think you'd be more of an older brother to him. <laughs> an older brother? <laughs> well, I've got some growing up to do then. Yes, and that's why we have to continue with the investigation. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Okay, let's start with these. What are these rocks? I thought they were covers at the beginning. The castle doors are open. When someone opens a door, they really should remember to close it after. Oh, sorry. When someone opens a door, they really should re remember to close it afterwards. Would he say that directly to the prosecutor von Karma, though? Huh? Looks like there's some stuff inside. Mm, let's see. Wait. I'll examine it. Stay out of the way. Okay, you do you. This fresh cream melts too easily. Cream is melting, a single touch can cause it to break. Okay. Well, that has. that The, the reason for that is probably because of the temperature. I'll connect that later. It seems like Detective Bad's shoes got covered in cream. these objects kept inside the candy castle. If there's anything you want to investigate, you better speak up now. Yeah, there is. Just said, all this and stuff inside. The rolls of blue cloth here. Looks like there's four of them in all. They certainly don't look like desserts. Yeah. I don't know what the cloth is for. It almost seems like it was in here inside the castle. Also, the color of this cloth looks familiar somehow. We already know where from. What about these rocks? Two big rocks are placed here. It's like a storage room. Oh, the rocks probably belong on these two stands. I see. But isn't that against the rules? Oh, maybe that's why she put them inside then. Or are the rocks edible? Yeah, the inside of the candy castle isn't so dreamy. Hey, maybe they're raw gemstones? Who knew that there were such treasures hidden within the castle? Seems like a rather careless way to handle treasure. Hmm? It looks like there's something underneath the rocks. Seems there's a pedestal attached to both of the rocks. Of course! It's a pedestal for displaying the gems! Well, in any case, this is no ordinary object. Okay, what about these, where it seems they would fit perfectly? This pillar has a hexagonal recess. Looks like a pedestal, but 
it has nothing in it. An hexagonal recess, huh? Oh, I wonder what would have been put in there. I wonder. A giant strawberry would fit with a fresh cream. Detective Bad, I don't think strawberries are, hexa are hexagonal. I was just hoping. Then uh, I hope it's a banana. I think I'd prefer blueberries. Okay. I think that's it. I think we can start piecing together this logic. Unless maybe just those roses, the purple ones? I think they're important though. No, we can't even explain them. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Yeah, hey Nex, thanks for uh, letting me know. I was uh, desynced, didn't notice it. My bad. Yep, exactly. Well, you summoned me. How you doing, Nex? Uh, okay, let's try this logic now. Okay, so obviously we have hexagonal recess and pedestal of rock, which fit perfectly, so let's connect those. The rock's pedestal has a similar shape, has a similar shape to the recesses on the other castle's pillars. Perhaps the rock is meant to be placed on top of the pillars. To my games list? You mean the poll? Or the games that I've already played? Oh, by the way, if you want to stream, I'm done in like 20 minutes. So feel free to hop on then. I'd be more than happy to uh, see a stream of yours. The poll? Well, I could, but I kind of closed it for now, next. I'm, I was thinking about trying something uh, different. And I don't know, I'm probably, I'm, I'm going to try to like stop, since these type of games seem, the, the poll in general seems like a, a failure. And that I thought that uh, it would let, like this way I could always uh, play games that people want me to, that people want me to stream. Twitch RQ? I'm not sure what Twitch RQ is, but anyhow, what I was saying is that I'm going to try and after I finish, I'm in the middle of this game, so I'm going to finish it, but I'm going to try and stop with a poll for a while and just try to stream like more, you know, newer, more mainstream, more popular games and see if people are, uh, are interested in that. So, yeah. So for now, the poll is closed. Uh, for the time being, I do plan on coming back to it eventually, probably when I'll have more time, or I don't know, we'll see. I'm just going to give a try to, like, you know, newer game, newer, more popular games, and see if there's, like, if more people are uh, interested in watching me play those. And when I feel like the time is right or whatever, I'm going to try and bring the poll back to play, because I do enjoy it. Like, I did f find out a couple of games that I wouldn't have played otherwise that I really enjoyed. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I could still do it just for a meme. Yeah, I know, man. I don't know. I'm not like, I'm not totally uh, happy about this decision, but I'm. It's a, it's an attempt. We'll see. Anyhow. Oh, that's right. They're both hexagonal. Since I don't know, a lot of people don't seem to enjoy. Like some people enjoy seeing me play the these type of visual novel type games, and I enjoy the good ones out of them, like this one. Never sell out. I don't know. I think there's like a degree of selling out. I think it's a spectrum. Do what you're good and what you enjoy. Well, I enjoy both. That's the thing. And I enjoy having people in chat. And when I play games that like no one wants to watch, kind of bums me out. Or that, like, I don't know, one or two people want to watch. That's I thought it would be different. So I'm still going to stream those. I'm thinking about, I don't know, finding the right structure. Maybe, like, do a day in a week. Or, like, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure something out eventually. We'll see. I'm just hoping I'll find more time to do this shit. And then I'll be able to do everything. But, yeah, we'll see. Like I said, it's an attempt. I can always go a hapage. Don't know what that is. But Elgato. Only uh, trans only meaning of Elgato that I know. Get some console stuff going. Yeah, exactly. Was thinking about uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm considering even buying a Switch. You know, for some of the newer releases, 
for now, I'm just going to, but that means like I don't have a TV or anything. Oh, maybe I don't need a TV if I have a capture card. I don't know. Anyhow, I'm considering it. Oh, a capture device. Then, yeah, I was considering. I'm considering maybe getting a Switch and something else and play like some of the newer console stuff too and not just uh, emulated stuff. And definitely the PC stuff too. So I'm, I've been trying to look up at, uh, you know, expected uh, hyped releases coming up in 2018. And I'll try to do those right after. Because I was actually really impressed. Like I got the idea actually off your uh, Sonic Forces stream, which did really, really well. So I thought maybe if I do something similar, unless you want to, of course, and it's your thing. Uh, but I thought if I do something similar, it might, like, you know, help me out too. Oh, that'd be awesome, dude. That'd be really awesome. You don't know why? I think it's because it was a new game, dude. And people were, like, hyped to, to see it. And you streamed it right when it came out. So I think that's a good reason. I think, well, first of all, the stream was pretty fucking hilarious with all the, you know, uh, Cold Steel, the Hedgehog. Yeah, day one in memes. So, you know, I can meme as much as I can, but day one is uh, another thing I haven't been doing. So I'm going to try that. And I think that's definitely a part of it. So I'm going to try, I got the idea off of that. I'm going to try doing similar stuff. And again, we'll see how it goes. It's definitely going to like put a dent in my wallet, which sucks. But we'll see how long I can do it for. With some luck, it'll be an investment. That I'll see. I'm, I'm not expecting it, but with, well, maybe a lot of luck. I wonder why they were hidden inside the castle, though. Aw, oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. The blue cloth and the rocks inside the castle. I wonder if they belong to Delisha. Delisha? Those things in the castle, what are they used for? Ah, uh, uh, those? I'm afraid I can't tell you. I've been found out. He'll get mad if, at me if I talk. Prosecutor Von Karma doesn't intend on being upfront with his information. Ah, it's such a shame. We finally figured out where the rocks are supposed to go. Could it be that you're interested in my goods? Huh? Your goods? These are my popular relaxation goods. You mean the rocks and the cloth? Yes, see, that's right. You see, they're not actually rocks, but special lamps made from rock salt. Wow, so those are lamps. <laughs> it gets even more exciting. Because this cloth also has an amazing secret. As soon as we showed interest in her goods, she became quite talkative. Since we've got them out, some come, come experience the therapy, boys. Baddie, could you put everything up? It's not baddie. It's bad. So you won't do it? Is Baddie being a bad boy? Laddy, are you done photographing this room? Yes sir, I am. Then go help Delisha. Yes sir, I'm on it sir. <laughs> Thanks, I knew you were a good boy underneath Baddie. Miss Delicious, that was amazing. You even persuaded Detective Bad. Don't play PUBG. No, I'm not into that type of stuff. I don't really like. I don't know. There's that. And there was Arma. Or, well, no. Actually, no. I hate PUBG. I really don't get the appeal of it. So no, not planning on playing anything I don't like. Not gonna do any MOBAs either, since I don't get the appeal of them really. So not planning to sell out that hard, at least. Arma, no, well, yeah, I was saying Arma because of something that came into mind. But yeah, Arma is decent and it doesn't play exactly as PUBG. But PUBG and... 
I agree completely, Max. I, I can't stand MOBAs. I feel they're like a cancer. Um, but and to each his own, you know? Anyhow, so yeah, I'm not planning on that. There was that other name. Uh, oh, there was Fortnite that I saw. I'm not planning on getting in either, since it seems like uh, pay, pay to win, and also a lot like, like a fancier version of PUBG, I guess. But I saw, who was it? I think Strom and... No, I don't remember. Someone played it a while ago. It can be hype if you play the game, otherwise it's trash. Yeah, it's... exactly. So yeah, not planning on any of that, don't worry. Thanks a lot, Batty! And you too, for Forensies! even give the forensics a nickname. I think that's... I think that's her way of showing she cares. What's so therapeutic about these things anyway? We don't have time for that now, Baddie. The show's about to begin. Forensies, finishing touches, please. Mm, yes, ma'am. What's this? Oh, I guess it is kind of cute with the lights. It's... Wow! It's so beautiful! It really is. I wish my son could see this. Oi! I told you so, right? The four fairies and the curious candy castle was the theme of my work. It's so sparkly and cute, right? It seems like... One of them is missing something. Oh. Oh, her wings. Yeah, definitely. So someone was sabotaging everyone's stuff. Maybe someone sabotaged her and then... I don't know. The truth is, I had planned to unveil it during the contest. Well, I'm glad you I got to show it to you boys. Huh? But it doesn't look like the rock salt lamps are lining up. Huh? I wonder why. I think I'll need to exa I think I'll need to examine the rocks and the fairies again. Well, I didn't examine the fairies at all yet, but let's look at this for now, for a bit. Oh, I can? Oh, there we go. Well, there we go! I think we found our murder weapon. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Looks like both lamps in the pillars are broken. Both of the light bulbs are broken. Maybe they were dropped on the floor. There's some sort of red stain on this lamp's surface. This stain? Could it be? That smell. There's no mistake in it. It's a blood stain. Do you guys know what blood smells like? If you don't know, it's uh, supposed to smell like rust, I think. Ah, that's a blood stain! Why is there a blood stain on this lamp? I wonder if this has something to do with this lamp bulb being broken. Like iron. Like iron or like rust? Yeah, I guess iron is uh... I think I remember wrong and you're right. I should also take a look at the other lamp here. So this is where Delisha, Delisha originally intended to put the lamps. Iron and copper, okay. I don't get why she put them in a castle. Since they're broken and don't light up, maybe she's decided to put them out of the way. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's why I said the iron actually makes more sense than rust. I just had that in my mind for some reason. If she wanted them out of the way, there are many other places to store them. Now, obviously, someone's trying to uh, frame her. It's like that old saying, hide the salt in the sugar bag. I think the saying goes, hide a tree in the forest. If Delisha intended to use these lamps as decorations during the contest, it creates a contradiction with a piece of evidence. I need to deduce the contradiction at the scene. Oh, that's probably why she hid them. 
Okay, so I know why. So the contradiction is really one of these. Because these are certainly not edible. Even if it's made of salt, like definitely not the, the lamps and the electronics and all that. So I think this is the contradiction that goes against the rules. Eureka! Detective Bad, please read the contest leaflet. Any decorations not made from desserts are prohibited. Huh. These rocks aren't lamps, and their fluorescent clothes go against the rules. Delisha broke the rules, used objects beside desserts for decorations. Well, they did say she'd do anything to win, so... So, maybe that's why they were hidden in the castle? I wonder about that. I think we should investigate further into Delisha's actions. Okay, and also there's this. Did we get, like, the piece of logic that was, or, I don't know, clue or something? Bloodstained rock salt. And beaten to death. Okay, so yeah. I'll connect everything soon. I think the door is uh, not important right now, right? This dessert made my shoes all dirty. You're coming closer. Your shoes will be covered in cream too. You've already seen what's behind the door. There's no need to look again. Okay, so I think we're done here for now. Let's keep looking around. Uh, and then question her if we have the time. It says, the four fairies in the curious candy castle. It seems that this was the theme for Delicious Works. But, it's not just the candy castle that I'm curious about. Okay, what about these tools? Here are all the tools used to make desserts. Everything from a bucket of fresh cream, to a brush and a trowel. More like a construction worker's tools. Hey now, boys! Don't under underestimate. Under. What? Oh, I see now. That's a pun. Don't under underest sweet mate the work of a pastry chef. Yeah, oh, good job there. It's completely different from construction work, where they cover the walls with cement. We use the trowel to smear the cream, and then brush, and the, and the brush to clean any uneven parts. How is that different from construction work? Okay, ladder, maybe? What is it, Mr. Attorney? Something about that ladder bothering you? Detective Bad, it's actually a stepladder. They're both the same to me. They're completely different. Look at their basic nature. Yeah, Mr. Edgeworth, you tell him. Okay, I guess nothing important about that. We'll check this fairy and... And then that one if we can. Oh, we can't. Odd, it seems that this one is actually the one that's missing. Or, uh, wings, but let's see. Unlike the other fairies, this one doesn't have a fluorescent cloth. Oh, that's a difference. Miss Delicious, it's not right to leave this one out. I don't like it either, darling. But what fluorescent cloth in a machine has gone missing? You've lost a cloth and a machine. What sort of machine is it? Oi, let me tell you. Each piece of fluorescent cloth is hooked up to one of... These machines. The machine is called a rainbow light device. Light is sent through the cable and into the cloth, which is made of optic fibers. Just fiddle around with the settings a bit, and it will turn into all sorts of colors. When it glows red, it's like a raging inferno. And when it glows blue, you can almost feel the glittering cool ice. It's powered by a long-lasting battery that's resistant to changes in the, in the temperature. Um, I'm not very familiar with these kinds of devices. Mr. Edgeworth, she's saying it's a machine that transmits light into, a spe into the special cloth. I see. It's amazing what they come up with these days. So, one rainbow light device and one fluorescent cloth are missing. 
Yes, see, that's right. Wherever could they be? This fluorescent cloth. Could it be related to the case? Fluorescent cloth added to the court record. Oh, so that's a cloth. I see now. So that's a piece of cloth that was... Oh, interesting. That's what the body was wrapped in. Probably the one that's missing. Okay. Now that we've done that, let's uh, piece together all the pieces of logic. Okay, we got beaten to death and obviously bloodstained rock salt lamp. That should be pretty obvious. There is, there is evidence that the victim was beaten to death with a, with a blunt object. Once more, there's a blood stain on one of the broken rock salt lamps. Could this lab have been the murder weapon? Hey, you're right. It could have been used as a weapon. Lambie. Is the blood analysis on this rock salt lamp finished? Yes, sir. It finished just a few moments ago. The blood stain on that lamp belonged to the victim. You heard what he said. Well, there we go. The murder weapon was hidden in Delicious' room. It seems pretty obvious to me that someone's trying to set her up, though. We need to consider her as one of the suspects as well. Okay, and fragile desserts and the high room temperature I think are also connected. Let's check it out. The reason the fresh cream is so fragile is due to the temperature in this room. So, my shoes got creamed because the room temperature is set at 68 Fahrenheit. Speaking of which... When you open the castle door, the doorknob didn't break. Yeah, it was stronger than I thought. Strong? A dessert? Maybe she cheated again and used parts that aren't edible. Detective Bad, could you have a closer look at that doorknob? Mm -hmm. This is... It would seem this doorknob isn't a dessert. We already know she cheated, so this works. It's not just the doorknob. It's castle and the fairies. Or just plastic molds coated in fresh cream. Uh, then, this isn't a dessert piece at all. It would seem they're just fake desserts covered in fresh cream. Fake desserts. Does she make, made fake desserts? What are her true intentions? I think this goes on with uh, her cheating. I'll try it out. Yes, next fix. Would you ever do a male to female if they had what? What do you mean if they had all the parts? Like if they're post surgery? Uh, probably not. Like I can't. I'm just like I've never. I don't know. Like post op. To be fair, I don't think I've ever seen like a post op vagina. So I can't say for certain, but I can't really imagine... I don't know, man. I don't know. I can say for certain that I've never seen uh, a post-op tranny that uh, made me want to fuck her. Daily handful. That sounds fucking terrible, dude. It probably doesn't feel right. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't know. But I'm guessing it probably doesn't feel the same either. And fold it in half again. I mean, it's probably not, like, moist and shit. Probably feels completely different, so I don't know. I'm guessing no. That would be, like, my first guess. But if I would ever... I don't know. If I would ever meet a uh, post-op transgender or transvestite, whatever name, uh, that was so fucking amazing that I just like had to fuck them. I mean, I guess, but I've never seen one like that. Moist. Yeah, exactly. So that's gonna be a no from me, dog. But I don't know. Like, if there ever was uh, one that was so amazing, uh, I'd have to see her and then rethink. Maybe I don't know. Or probably not. 
Would you? Were you thinking about doing that? Using decorations that were against the rules and making fake desserts. A lot of delicious actions seem suspicious. Yeah, doesn't seem like she's aiming to be the world's greatest pastry chef. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the short answer, I suppose. Also, the temperature of this room is way too high. Is there a reason for that? Okay, fake desserts act. Okay, so that's probably another thing we can use against her. So that's good. I wonder. I think we should ask Delisha directly. Okay, so that's the next thing we're going to do, but it's going to have to wait for tomorrow since our time is completely up. So thanks for watching, everybody. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. It's been a long time coming and uh, finally back. Like I said, I'm going to finish this game then do some other stuff. Uh, so you can uh, see the next part tomorrow. I'll be back same time as today. You can check the schedule to see what time is it for you locally. Other than that, uh, feel free, if you enjoyed, to follow me on Twitch, uh, Twitter, and Steam to get notifications whenever I start to stream, and on Twitch and YouTube to watch my past broadcasts of this and other games. Start yelling? Oh, uh, yeah. And one, um, I might just start using a face cam. Start yelling. I start yelling, I'll uh, throw up a face cam, and uh, I don't know, grow a cleavage somehow. Uh, so yeah, that's it, I think. So thanks for watching, everybody. I uh, hope you have a great uh, Monday and great week. And take care, and I'll see you soon. Oh, face cam is selling out, but yelling, isn't it? I should start watching, like, Ale what's his name? Alex Jones, I think? Fake boobies. Yeah, maybe I should become a uh, male to feel. People like ugly trans people. Yeah, maybe I should become uh, a trans streamer. That'll be my shtick, and I'll get, like, I don't know, millions of followers in no time and subscribers. So, yeah, anyway, uh, we'll continue this later. Uh, there might be a stream soon on SafeStateHeroes.com. I'm hoping there will be, so stick around for that. And until then, I'll see you guys soon. Take care, everybody. Marco.